Hey, welcome back to my channel. How would you like to talk about a new book in a new cozy mystery series by Fliss Chester? New name for me, Cressida Fawcett is our character and she is an amateur sleuth in 1920s London. She's a young independent woman who has an eye for fashion and the one thing that Cress, Cressida says more than once is I'll never marry. I just want to be an interior designer and make sure people look good, make sure homes look good. And um, that's where she's happy. But for right now, she's just visiting at a home and this should be drinks and there should be parties. But the first upset is that there's a theft. So that gets Cressida started asking questions. But then she hears a young maid screaming. Everybody hears a young maid screaming. And what happens? Harry, who is a chandelier cleaner, is found dead at the bottom of the stairs. So what does this series remind me of? First of all, I'm thinking Murder, She Wrote. Granted, our character Fliss is younger. Uh, Fliss is the author. So I, I knew I'm going to do this. I knew I was going to do this going in. Cressida is much younger than Jessica Fletcher. Much much younger than Miss Marple, if you think of the Miss Marple mysteries in the Agatha Christie series. But there you have the UK type comparisons or the, the woman amateur sleuth determined to ask questions. Now, what I like about this book, you know, I mentioned 1920s England, is the first initial theft and then the apparent murder of Harry took place in a on, a, on an estate. So your, your pool of suspects is rather small because it's probably, it has to be someone there. At least that's what, what uh, Cressida thinks. Of course, DCI Andrews, who is the actual person in charge of the crimes, may have his own ideas. As a matter of fact, yes, he has his own ideas of so why doesn't Flesh, uh, Cressida just, you know, stand back and let him do his job. But she can't because she sees things that the DCI does not see. And then you have how well the story fits in in a historical setting. And of course, the fact that it's the first book in a new series. Now, if you like cozy mysteries, light, yes, of course, there's always going to be a death. As a matter of fact, that's the name of the book, right? Death Among the Diamonds. It's still a light read because it's a cozy. Now, just about every cozy mystery book that I read, there's always an accompanying pet. And in this case, it's a little pug named Ruby. Okay. Ruby is everything in the world to Cressida Fawcett. And R Ruby plays a role in this book, which I love. And then the fact that our character in the 1920s London is an interior designer, I like that aspect. But as we know, she's not just an interior designer. In fact, she now becomes, becomes an amateur sleuth because she's uncovering secrets, lies, and other clues that start to, uh, you know, connect all the dots together. So that is the first book in the Cressida Fawcett series. And I loved it. And I'm looking forward to continuing this series with the next book and the next book and the next book. And I think if you like that time frame of 1920s London, England, with a young amateur sleuth, how can you go wrong with Death Among the, Di the Diamonds by uh, Fliss Chester? Now, I, some of my reviews, I don't get to say this because I forget, but you can get it at your Kindle store for $2.99. 
But what's more is you can also get it on Kindle Unlimited. How you decide to support the author is, is up to you. But if you got if you have two ninety nine, I say buy the book and give the author a little bit more of a commission on the book. So there you have Death Among the Diamonds, book number one in the Cressida Fawcett Mystery Series. Thank you for watching.